Let's get to this topic. There's always been a ton of debate around what is okay to wear on planes. Some people say that people used to dress up to get on flights, and now people are so casual that they actually fly in their pajamas. So obviously, there's a lot of gray in between about what's acceptable, what's not. Well, one woman, she was recently told to cover up when she wore this. Hmm. This right here, a crop top or a bralette, depending on how you, you know, what you think. A bralette, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, it's like a little little kind of trendy thing right yeah. now, um, which is a step above a bra, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, a crop top and these high-waisted pants. And so what do you guys think? She had the flight manager. There were four staffers around her. They were all threatening to take her off the plane and her luggage off the plane, off the flight, if she didn't cover up. They told her she had to put on a jacket. I, I feel like I've seen people wear a lot worse than this on an airplane. Right. No doubt. Like, and guys will wear just, you know, shorts and a tank top and mm -hmm. no one says anything. Yeah. The airline has kind of like backtracked from this a little bit. They said uh, it's really hard to impose dress codes. There are dress codes. And the flight attendants handled this wrong in this situation. They even got on the loudspeaker it's and crazy. like made a whole scene about it, which I think was wrong. That is so embarrassing. And I didn't think, see anything there that was crazy. For yeah. me, as long as you're wearing your shoes, I don't care what you're doing on a plane or what you're wearing. That's a good rule. What about just socks? Though. Uh, no, I mean, please put some covering on. <laughs> I mean, at least socks, but I mean, I've seen people clip their nails on the plane. Well, oh, that's oh, I know. We're not going to get into far. any of that. That's but did you think that was too far? I don't really have an issue with that. I feel like she's doing more of a disservice to herself in this situation because I'm the person that wears a hoodie, I wear uh, pants, I'll wear socks, I bring my blanket because it's freezing <laughs> on the airplane. So for her, I'm like, if you want to be cold, go ahead and be cold. I'm not offended by it at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are a bunch of worse things that you could wear with this one. Yeah. And they, them a Apologizing. Here's the thing. I don't like pajamas on a plane. Right. So I think those you should be taking off the plane for that. I feel like you should at mm. least get dressed in the morning. You know, if it's in workout gear or I'm even okay with sweatpants, yeah. but actual pajamas on an airplane, that's something that I'm gonna But what I'm if you're no taking for. like a super early morning flight right. and there's so much waiting around in the airport? I've definitely traveled in sweats before and so super casual outfits. I kind of don't care. Well, I'm okay with sweats. I'm not okay with pajamas. If they guarantee my plane's gonna land on time, I'll wear a tux for the darn thing. But if they're uh, gonna yeah. keep us, in, what if you say, if you're gonna keep us in the airline for five hours yeah. in the airport for longer, longer. Look, this obviously harkens back to the question of, you know, back in the day, you see pictures of people always talk yes. about this on airplanes that everyone wore the full suit or yeah. women got dressed up because it really was something special, a huge event for our, our, our parents, more likely our grandparents' generation. Yeah. Traveling on a plane was something very rare. It was something it was extravagant. Exciting. It was yeah. exciting to do. And the only thing I'll say to that though, when people are like, oh, back in the day, we always wore everything. You also used to smoke on the darn planes too. Like That's true. Things, a lot of things have changed with airline travel. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's cheaper now than it's ever been for the most part, which is really good. Yeah. And the more accessible it is to average everyday folks, I think the better it is that for all of us to be able to explore our yeah. country and the world. And if you gotta wear some pajamas, that's fine. Again, just cover them feet up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do I'm not more, clip your nails on the on the plane. <laughs> I'm more like you though. The most important thing is, are we gonna get there and are we gonna get there safe? Yeah. Yes. Because no it, it just bugs me. Like airplane airlines, they're the number one people. Like they could show up late. Yes. They could be five. Uh, they, uh, they'll be like, excuses. oh, we don't have a pilot. Oh, we don't have a full crew. <laughs> oh, this I crew remember, doesn't know how to fly this plane. Yes, that's it's happened a new to plane. me before. But they're like, I oh, but oh, put on that jacket. You know. Yeah. Yes. It's time to flip the script here, I everyone. Yeah, uh, let's take back our airplanes. <laughs> the flight I took back in, it's like in January, they were like, oh, the plane, we left the plane out and it froze overnight. I'm like, <laughs> we, we all knew what the forecast was going to be and we knew temperatures were dropping. Put yeah. those wipers up on the plane. This is not our first time yeah. in mm -hmm. Chicago. Mm -hmm. Put those wipers Put up those on the plane. Put those wipers up. It's not our first time in Chicago. I couldn't right. believe I was on a two hour delayed flight because they left it out and it got cold. Yeah. At least they made it safe. That's the most yes, important thing. That's true. Okay, let's transition to something else fashion wise because this is crazy there's this over-the-top evening gown I guess we could call it it's really raised some eyebrows online because it was advertised as a mother of the bride dress <laughs> take a look at this thing okay mom of the bride oh, showing no. up for the wedding like that uh, the racy black lace dress is selling for almost 2400 bucks all right so I plea, I don't. Your mom would never wear that. I don't think she wore that to your oh wedding. No, I don't think she she's ever a would. very, very classy lady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you're still in the show of that. But it's just yeah. like the first of all, those puffy <laughs> sleeves just don't go with that dress. Right, so it's just not okay. But it looks like lingerie. It, it's a little. It's revealing. pretty sexy. And who is wearing black? Like black at the unless that's your color uh, and it's a black tie. Do you think wedding. she's mourning the loss mm. of her child? <laughs> well, yeah, like to, to another relationship. Yeah, yeah. It's I don't know. I would. I would love to show up to a wedding and see a mom wear something. 
something yeah. like this, just fully decked out. I'm sure the makeup is, you know, done to the nines <laughs> to go with it. Just trying to steal the show. I would love to see something like this. My own mom would never do this, but I, I think it'd be really entertaining. But that's just so rude. Like it's supposed to be about the bride. Like it's not. You're not supposed to take attention. I don't know. The mom I've should have that, her moments I've heard too. a lot of brides say it's actually more about their parents and about their families than them. Yeah, not day. me um, or anyone I know. <laughs> I think the fun part is no. trying to envision the mom that would wear this and what that would look I like know. at a wedding. I think one Maybe of the a real housewife or yes. something. <laughs> I, I saw one of the commenters that the mom that wears this to the wedding is the mom that halfway through the wedding busts through the back of the church door and is like, honey, you didn't yes. invite me to your wedding and here I am. With and then she struts down the aisle. Oh, just oh, great for Cruella yeah, Deville cigarette. Just right. like, yes. what's going on in here? Yes, exactly. An accent suddenly appears. Mm -hmm. With a hat. Yes. Yes. To the side. To the side. Okay, we've got a vision for this. We've right. got a vision. <laughs> Oh man! All right. Well, let's switch up a little bit. Yep. Mitt Romney, you know, he's known as his work uh, for his work as a politician. However, this week he took the internet by storm by the way that he blows out his birthday candles. <laughs> Take a look at this. This is really strange. So this is a cake of Twinkies, <laughs> and if you notice, he's picking up each <laughs> candle one by one and giving it a little blow. So he goes through all these here. So what silly. The, heck the former. Is he doing? I know. <laughs> Apparently, it's to you know reduce the spread of germs or something the former presidential hopeful tweeted the video and he captioned it my team surprised me with a cake made out of my favorite snack twinkies <laughs> looking Don't forward to all this year has in store so what do we think about this don't get me wrong it's a little awkward but i'm a little shocked this went viral like who cares it's who so cares? strange though it's so strange Mitt romney has a history of being a little bit quirky he comes from a, a political eccentric. dynasty family his dad was the governor of michigan he's always been in the spotlight his family is very independently wealthy nothing wrong with any of those things but <laughs> if you guys remember in the 2012 presidential campaign he had a lot of these little moments yeah. not understanding how much things cost he talked about in the debate about his binders full of women he's always had these little vi just like uh, resumes and stuff <clears throat> but it just came off so weird so strange he's kinda, he did a celebrity boxing match at some point between oh, losing the boy. presidential race and then running for utah <laughs> senate uh, in 2018 he's just kind of got these quirky things about him yeah. which i think is fine kind of it Look, at the it's end funny. of the day, people thought he was very robotic when he ran that 2012 presidential campaign. Then they had this documentary that came out afterwards that showed him as just this everyday guy who does have some quirky things like all of us do things a little bit uh -huh, differently. Uh -huh. And it made him more personal. Honestly, I watched that and uh, him joking <laughs> with his staff and it makes you like him more. I mean, right. sure, he blows out his candles one by one, which is a little <laughs> strange and likes Twinkie cakes, but hey, that's his thing, go yeah. for it. I love I a socially it. awkward person. I'm kind of socially awkward myself no. at times. So really, I think Carly. you're a better team. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you guys already know this about me. Come on. Um, no, okay. I just want to know how many Twinkies he ate. <laughs> I know. Probably that's, a couple. That's the real telling thing. Can Where's you, the part two of this video? <laughs> right. Can you really be president? Yeah. So, Depending on how many that's Twinkies silly. you eat. I have a question for you guys. Do you guys still do the blow out the candles on the birthday cake when you know when it comes around? Sure. Do you do it like is it do they just do a few candles or do you get all well, however old you guys are, I'm not going to say yeah. All 21 you know. candles. Yes, all 21 for both of you, of course. But, I mean, is that a thing anymore? Because nowadays my parents will just be like, all right, well, you're 33. We'll put three on the cake. And yeah. like, that's it. I'm like, where is the candle budget going? When we were kids, they, they'd line that thing up. Now, it's just, now the cake's getting smaller. The candles are getting less. Right, you get a little cupcake. Think. Yeah, it's just one cupcake. I don't yeah. know. Do you guys have kids? I, I, I'm trying to think. Last year, someone sent me donuts for my birthday, and I feel like oh. we just ate them at our house because I had a big day of travel. And then the year before, I was at Banff now. National Park. Mm -hmm. So I was traveling and so we ended up just getting carrot cake and putting like, oh yeah, they didn't have any mini candles and this grocery store only had the candlesticks. So we put one <laughs> giant candle in it. I'm just remembering this. It's yeah. for the moment. Yeah. It's for the moment. No, I actually, I'm not a huge cake person. I did get one cake this last birthday. I can't remember the last time I had a cake. It was probably when my mom was throwing birthday parties right. for me. Right. I'm um, saying bring back the cake, yeah. bring back all the yeah. candles and make us blow them all out. That's yeah. my thing. What do you I'm do? I'm a cake candle person. No, like the, it's gotten cheaper. The full thing? Yeah, yeah, no, I wish. We just do like th two or three yeah. candles, and they're like, that's all we had in the drawer. <laughs> and then that's it. And Marsh is like, we're saving money this year. It's the second round of those candles. Right? They're like, you're in your 30s Marcia, now. It don't matter. You Marcia know that don't happens. care.
care no more about Marcia, the Marsha, he wants his cake and his candle. Yeah, and I want to eat it too. That. Come on. It's interesting because it's it's strange that the, the birthday cake thing has become this thing in politics. There was a, an instance where George W. Bush was blowing out candles uh, at this big festivity for his birthday, and he couldn't do it because there was about, oh, however, yeah. or, or oh, George. Like I saw that. Yes, I and this. I think that, I, I don't know if I remember correctly, but some of them were trick candles and they didn't know they were going to be oh, trick yeah. candles. So it was just a very awkward moment. So anytime there's cameras around around a birthday cake or with candles, oh, I got to say one last thing. Okay. okay. What I didn't know this was a Mexican tradition, so Enrique taught me this. Uh -huh. When a kid goes to blow out his candles, you're supposed to smash his face into the cake. Into the fire? No, no, no. After he blows them out, <laughs> then you smash. I had no idea that was oh. a thing. We've done it with our nieces and nephews now. They absolutely the hate it. I was yeah. like, that yeah. sounds like the, a recipe for losing your eyebrows. Yes, no, don't worry. The, the candles are out. Um, that doesn't All sound fun. fun to me. Yeah. I'm glad that that uh, did not happen Can I come to, to the next one of yes, these? That I'll try like it for both of you guys. Okay. It'll be great.